Okay, this is gonna be a fast video because I just got in from church. You can see I'm still dressed and I wanna get out my clothes and I wanna eat and I keep saying I'm gonna do this video and I never do it because I get preoccupied. So we're gonna get through it and I'm gonna say within 10 minutes, I'll be done. Maybe I'll do a what's in my Birkin bag. I'll change it. What's in my Birkin bag? This is what it looks like. I ain't got no, I don't have no, Organizing nothing in there. It is slouchy. Because as you can see, I got it on the 7. And you can see it's already slouching already. I don't care. I use the bag. Sorry, I'm nervous. I use the bag for what it's for. And that's the carry. I will agree with everybody. It is heavy. So, I'm going to do what's in there. So, this is one of the things that I carry in here. My iPad. 10 inch and this is I think the yeah, clear clearments clearments I don't know how to clearments y'all I don't know how to pronounce it so sorry leather and as they was talking about the grains it's very noticeable but it's nice and smooth it go to feet at the bottom I still got the thing at the bottom on one of them This is uh, this gold hardware. I wanted to put my little decorations, you know, since this was a gift, I don't have the money to be buying nothing to hang on the bog. So I make up my own decorations. I know people may people may think, you know, that oh, since this is so much of a money of a bag, then I should put money. I'm sorry, I'm over here. Something on my screen. I should put whatever I'm going to have hanging on here. The same amount of money. No, I ain't got no 600, 700, 800. And the way people, the different videos that I, I saw of people that was having issues with air meds, hair meds, head meds, whatever meds it is. Can't really pronounce it. Um, if I'm pronouncing it wrong. Um... I can't be really sp spending money on people that don't really want my money. And I got to go through so much to get it. And I guess I, I guess y'all could say you popping junk because you ain't buy it. Exactly. I did. But I wanted it. And I'll be honest with you. I'm not so much so much for the name. I'm so much for the make of the bag. I like any bag that has a lock on it. I'm crazy about Louis Vuitton. I got Louis Vuitton Speedies. And they have the lock on it. It's just something about a lock that does something to me. Maybe privacy. I don't know. But we're going to get into it. This is the back. And I guess this is the, the um, 30 with white stitches. Stitches, stitches. Okay, as y'all see, this is what's in here. So we're going to go. We already got the, anybody joining, this came out of here. Well, actually, I didn't put it in there, but this in there is heavy. But that's what I have in there. That's my iPad. That's my iPad 10 inch. I guess y'all really don't need to know this. This is a slip. If y'all go on, if y'all look on my, my, um, my previous video before this one, you'll see that I preached. I had a lot of preach. So I had my robe on. So I forgot it was black, but still in all, I try to wear a slip underneath because you can see right through it. We're going to start with the pockets first. We got one back here. All right, as you see, there's one back here. Ain't that much stuff in there. And then there's one here. Now this. I got this the seventh. I got this bag the seventh. And um, I ain't gonna even tell y'all the story how I got all that. That's not even important. I'm not into the bag that much to give y'all full details of how I got it. All I how all I can say and will say is that it was a gift. So whatever they went through to get it. Um so eighth was my birthday. I received it the seventh, which was my grand grandbaby. She's not even in here. Sorry about that. 
But this is. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll put it at the background. Okay, see little bit. Okay, that'll be my background. So, um, my granddaughter birthday was the seventh. So I received it right before her birthday. They took her to Chuck E. Cheese, so I was able to try it out and enjoy it. Okay, so we're going to start with the pockets. So inside that zip, no, inside the non-zip pocket is my iPad Pros. iPad, you hear me? iPod, iPod, right? iPod Pros. My half fair Metro card. My... Glass cleaner, eyeglass cleaner. My keys, I don't know why they're in there. So I'll just put the keys. I'll put the keys here. This is a, I don't know whether y'all heard of this, Bellroy. It's a leather wallet, all that stuff that hold your keys. You got They got all kinds of stuff. I got a little case, which I didn't carry it. But it's a case that holds your electronics, your your gadget. Your, they call it a gadget. And it holds, um, I use it to hold my charger and stuff like that. Okay. You need the cookie? Okay. All right, come, come on up here. I'm doing a video. Be quiet, okay? Okay. Mm -mm, I'm going over there. I'm doing a video. Oh, I need to take this. This is my medicine. Sunday. Well, I guess to be honest, I didn't eat anything. So what time is it? Six. Okay, I got time. Okay, so that is my Sunday medicine. And that is it's a big pill. This is iron and, I mean, not iron, it's um, calcium and vitamin D. This is my lip. My daughter gave me this, and it is very, very, very good. As you can see, I'm about out of it. I don't know where she got it from, but I'm about to tell her I need a refill. You press it. And that's good because you, uh, have the name, the name of the church on that image. Yeah. They don't want this. I'm sorry. Somebody just sent me, my pastor just sent me a text. Okay. Siri here. Let me know if I can help. I think I know what she's saying, but I want to read it for myself. But she ain't say no price. I'm leaving. Okay. So you press it as I tell. Okay. So my pastor was texting me. Okay, so we got that. I don't know why I put that there. That's supposed to be somewhere else, but I got my little things for my teeth. They come in a big package with a whole lot, so I ain't want to take that. So I just got it in the pocket to clean out my teeth after I eat. Got some more. Got some change. Let's see what else? And real. And this supposed to. Oh yeah, I guess this is Chuck E. Cheese. Yes. And some more change. So we stick that in there. Okay, so now we're gonna go on the other side. We're gonna go on the zip one. 
And it's another truck of cheese. My Tylenols. Because I get headaches from my medicine sometimes. They be kind of severe. Okay, screwdriver to get in my door because I locked my door when I go out. And this is my eyebrow. And this is a portable straw that comes inside the, it kind of like closes up like that. It comes inside, what's that? That little thing the kids get? Okay, so there's all that's in there. So we're gonna put that stuff back in there. It's over here, it's over here, it's over here. I'll show you and then I'll put stuff back in. Okay, so now we go in the middle. All right, so the first thing I pull out is my K95 mask. And then I have another one that I bought for my medical because my husband is handicapped. So we are pri privileged to buy stuff from the medical website and it be paid for by his medical insurance because he got a home health aid. So he gets a certain amount of money where he can buy certain important things. So I bought this kind of mask, right? So, this is, it says, do, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus. Colossians 3 and 17, English stands virgin. Ain't that cute? I bought this from a website, a Christian website called CTA. Christ something all. Okay, so now, and here is supposed to be. Um, as I pull it out, I'll tell you, I got my little pochette from Louis Vuitton, and I have stuff in here. I got the chain, the, the bracelet that goes to this. What else I got in here? I got some more lotion for my hand. This is pretty good. Uh, I got me this for my teeth. All right. It's from the dentist all the time. I went to the dentist. I got these. I don't know why. This was for my husband, but I ain't giving it to him. I had it for a while. I don't even know why it's in here. Got a piece of candy. I got my my cards. Bus not my business cards, but cards from other business that deals with my life, my insurance. My eye doctor. My dentist, my husband's insurance, my nail salon that does my nails, my eye place, my insurance card, I again, insurance for my grandson. Oh, this must be a young lady. I must have ordered something for Poshmark because they sent me a card, the library, the eye doctor. My husband insurance card. So I used to keep my cards, like my credit cards in here. But I'll show you what took the place of it. This is this is a 2019 I prescription. And I'm holding on to it because this keeps, you know, when I move from Brooklyn out here to the Bronx and they was doing exam, you know, your regular eye checkup. So they wanted to know my old subscription. They wanted to see my like 2 years ago subscription. So I got my 2020 subscription. I got my 2021 cuz I every time I would go to the doctor, I would go to um King's Plaza Cohen's, the same name that's here. That's where I would go to see my eyes. And this this one was at um, King's Plaza. So every time I would go to them, I would get my, prescrip my prescriptions. I would tell them to make a copy. I got these glasses from them. I got some Mean You, Prada, whatever, glasses from them. But I always 
get the prescription. So if I ever I always thought that if I ever go to another eye doctor outside of them, I will have my prescription so that they could see the process of my eyes. So that's all that is in here. Oh, I got a Coca-Cola candy that my granddaughter gave me. Oh, yes, like this cola, which I didn't even eat. So now I keep this in here. Keeps my keys in here. I keep this in here. And I put this in here. And let's put this back in here. I don't know if somebody may need a towel. Unfortunately, they'll be sleeping. Okay, so this is my message. I normally use plastic. If y'all know, like, the plastic covers. But I have pulled this out. Do I have this? This one's in the fridge and the doors. This. Yeah. Um. Sorry about that. Okay, so when I pulled this out to use, I was like, oh my goodness, it's too flexible. And it's kind of like, it's about as big as this bag, right? <laughs> so what I had to do... I had to pick this up. Let me show you. I had to pick this up and put it behind here like this. So I just vented it this time. So now what's in here is my message that I preached today, which you'll look at my previous video. So this is the message. I, let me tell you what happened right quick. I am um, to... Now, this is a five page, five page message. I think it's like a thousand, eighteen hundred words, but it only was seven minutes. Would you mind me? I gotta look and see how long I think. And my topic was confidence in God, and my subtopic was these things, right? So you can look at the message, look at the video. But my point that I'm trying to make with this particular area thing is that I I don't understand it repeated itself. See, I don't know. I must have I must have wrote it twice because this what y'all see here, right? It's also on the back here. So when I turned it over, I said, "Wait a minute, why am I repeating myself?" So I had to. Skip all this because that's on the front and put it over here. I, I wonder with so many pages. And then I went to the third. I did the third page. I did the fourth page, which this was the heart and body of my message, which I spoke from Matthew 6 and 33. That was my main verse. But the verses that I spoke on to bring out the 33rd verse was the 25th to the 32nd. I wrote them all out. It's a good thing I wrote them all out because to be honest, my Bible is very heavy and putting it in this bag. Child, let me show you my Bible. Y'all about now. Y'all about now. Y'all about now. Y'all about now. Here my Bible. Y'all probably saw me use it a lot, Life in the Spirit Bible. This Bible is heavy. And there was a time when I was carrying it Right, but I was carrying it in a short, like carry-on bag. But just think about it. Put it. In, I put it in this bag, and this is how light it needs to be. But because the leather is so heavy, those who know this bag know it's heavy. So now, when I get on the pulpit and I turn it over, I'm looking. I'm saying, wait a minute, because I know I had typed up these things and had my summary on why and the importance of these things, right? But when I got here, I was like, where's the rest of my page? I didn't even think to turn around and look in the thing. I didn't even think. It didn't even come to me. The Lord didn't bring it to my attention. So I ain't, I ain't hating. I ain't worrying about it. I ain't got no issue with it because what I said is what God wanted me to say. So I spoke to seek. I'll read this part. Verse 33 of Matthew 6 says, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things 
shall be added. No, there I go reading it wrong. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. That's where I got the these things from. Because for some reason that the Lord like was throwing that at me. So I took it as that's what he wanted me to emphasize on. He wanted me to talk about that. So to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness means to put God first in your life. To fill your thoughts with his desires. To take his character for your pattern. And to serve and obey him in everything. You were seeking after righteousness, even if you are a sinner. All sinners that hear this in my video, this is for you. You should practice. Wait a minute. You are seeking after righteousness, even if you are a seek sinner. You should practice a habit of doing good. Practice. No, it will not be easy because your nature is of a sinful state. I'm not going to even get into it because I can just give you all a message right now. I'm just going to read what I wrote and the page that I left out since it's not in my message. It's not in the video that I preach on. Because your nature is a sinful state. And if you do not have the Holy Ghost within you to keep you from the desire of sinning, you will find it hard to practice doing right. But you could do it. But once, here's the key. You'll find it hard. But once you have decided that you want to change your life, if you're all deciding that, listen to this, and come and meet Christ at the altar to call his name so that he could save and cleanse you up. Anybody in Brooklyn, anybody in the Bronx, anybody in New York, in those barrels, that care to do so, hit me in the comments and I'll give you the address to my church. And we'll gladly be over you and help. We won't give you the Holy Ghost, but we sure enough will help you get it. Mm. Okay. Hard to do, but once you have decided that you want to change your life and come and meet Christ at the altar, you will begin to get that desire to do right and think right and say truthful things. You will begin the process of holy sanctification through Christ. Sanctifying your mind, your heart, and last of all, your soul. You will begin to seek him instead of people. Please him instead of people. Obey and serve him in everything. You would also want to please him and make him happy. This is the process of a sinner, man, woman, boy, girl, who have decided that that's what they want to do. They want to serve God. That's the process. People, objects, goals, and other desires all compete for your priority. But we must be remember, we must remember, save or unsaved, that our priority is God and his son, Jesus Christ. And that's the part I want. I, in my message, you'll see where I stopped, said whatever the Lord wanted me to say, and then I ended. But here's the here's the rest of it. Repeat the verse. That's that's what that's for me to do. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. What are these things? See, this, I'm coming on in. The context of these things. Are the basic needs of life, food, clothing. Thinking about, well, I really want to say this, but I guess it wasn't meant for me to say. Thinking about it as I was reading and studying this passage, I noticed he didn't speak too much about shelter. I hear that he would supply raiment, food, and shelter, but it's not in the Bible. Or I'll say I haven't found it as of yet. And if I'm wrong, please do incline me. Any of you who's listening to this and you're also in the Bible where he provides shelter as well, then let me know. We can have confidence that God will supply all our needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. In Matthew 8 and 20, Jesus said unto him, 
The foxes have holes and the birds of the air have nests, nests. But the son of man had nowhere to lay his head. Now, I got that scripture because I wanted to emphasize that it didn't talk about shelter. You only talk about raiment and food, right? We are talking about confidence in God. Luke 10, 8, 9, verse 8 says, And into whatsoever city ye enter, and they receive you, eat such things as are set before you. Verse 9, And heal the sick that are therein, and say unto them, The kingdom of God is come nigh unto you. Christ Jesus had confidence, confidence in the other 70 that he sent out two and two gave them the power and they had confidence in him to go do the job that they were set to do and to be able to heal the sick as well. See, I really want to say this, but apparently it wasn't. Now I'm reading it. It really wasn't that important. What I spoke on was what God wanted me to spoke on. And I emphasized in the beginning of my message before I got to the, the 33rd verse, all the things that God will provide for us by going through the verses. So when you actually look at it from verse 25 to 32, it tells you the things that you, he takes care of the fowls of the ear. Um, um, he had me bring out um, Bathsheba and Solomon, how you get wisdom, all that good stuff, all that good stuff. Okay, so now, in my conclusion, planning for tomorrow is time well spent. Worrying about tomorrow is time wasted. Sometimes it's difficult to tell the difference. Careful planning is thinking ahead about goals, steps, and schedules, and trusting in God's guidance. When done well, planning can help alleviate worry. Worriers, by contrast, are consumed by fear and find it difficult to trust God. I should have put that in the beginning because I talked about worryation and what it does to you. They have let their plans interfere with their relationship with God. Don't let worries about tomorrow affect your relationship with God today. Oh, I could have put that. That was nice. God wants you to have confidence in him, believe in him, trust him, and depend on him. And he will never let you down. So you always have a finale. So that is my message. And that was put in here. So that's going to go on this floor right here. Somebody at the door. Is that your mama? I don't think she's coming that quick. Okay, so I have a drawer that goes to my bed. I think y'all can see it. No, you can't. See? It's down there. But anyway. Okay, so let's go on. Okay, this is a wallet that made me take all the cards that I had in here. I saw my daughter. She had this in one of her bags, and I asked could I have it. This is my, I don't know whether y'all have this, but this is, let me see, I'm just going to show you. This is, oh, it doesn't have my address on it. Oh, yes, it does. So let me close that. Let me see, when did I get this? Oh, it doesn't have one, I got it, Okay. I don't know whether y'all have this kind of card. It says New York City Identification Card. So we got this card. This is like a New York State card, I presume. And then you have, I just got my new license. I have to give them update. 2030, Lord Jesus. And this is, let me see if I can close it. And this is the New York State ID. So that's what I got. So I had all these cards in here, right? I wanted to get me a, a Louis Vuitton card holder. Okay, and I got all my credit cards and credit cards down here and over here. This is miscellaneous stuff. 
I got some money in here. I really can. Okay, so this kind of closes up like this. I'm going to tell y'all a name in a minute. And it closes. Just, I wish it was automatic snap, like quick in Got to line it up so it snaps. Okay, so this is the wallet. What's her name? What's her name? Call Legafiel. Legafiel. Now this wallet says one hundred twenty-eight dollars. I guess it was a gift from the same daughter that bought this bag. So I put everything in there. Let's see. You coming on down. Now, if I can carry it, if I could carry it like this, let me close it to the zipper. If I can carry it like this, now yeah, this is light. This little thing, I'm about to throw this out. Little bell. All right, no. Okay, I got a brush to brush my hair. All right, this is who? Oh, this doesn't have. Oh, dollar. Can't beat that, right? This is my, this is the eyeglass case that I got for my other eye. But I carry it because I lost my little chain. If y'all remember my little chain, I didn't lose it. I lost it in the house. And when I found it, it was like stuck between, because right, right here is the wall for the day room, the playroom, whatever. Laundry room, all that, everything in here. And it got caught. I put a couch in there, like a day bed in there. And um, not a day bed, a pull out couch. And I put it in there. And I was looking all over for it because I was in there doing, I have groups during the day. And I was in there and I forgot I was in there and it had dropped down and I found it and I told my grandson to pull it. Maybe to come out and it popped. So as you see, I don't have them no more. Because remember, you will always see that chain. when Y'all see my video. So I don't have that no more. So I carry a case with me. If it ever comes down that I do need to put it somewhere. Put my glasses somewhere. So this came. Can y'all see that cup right there? That's uh, during the Christmas. You know... Victoria's Secret Pink is always having a sale. So I bought this. This came in the cup along with socks that has coffee thing in there. And it was this, the socks. I guess that's it. This, this and the socks in the cup. So this is 24-hour moisture. And it is body lotion. And the name of it is Warm and Cozy. That's the name of it. Just in case if any of you want to get it. Warm and Cozy. It's by Pink. It's soft vanilla, toasted coconut, and passion fruit. So that's what I'm smelling, that coconut. Okay, I got this. For those who know what this is, y'all know what that is. Uh, here's the bag that came with the with the key, the key in the lock in here. I got so much tissue, I keep tissue in my bag. Just go, y'all know what this is. Or maybe I don't know. This I did a video on it. This is Apple Pencil. And a char it's actually a charger. This is the Apple Pencil case not a charger it's a case so i can put my pencil in here and this is to um this is to hold it like that and this one goes this way and then you have whatever that is for and then this is the cap so i have bought this i have bought this before I bought the pencil. I wasn't planning on buying no pencil. 
But once I bought the charger, I said, I got to get a pencil now. And the case that I had before this case, it had the little thing here. I guess later on I'll try to find it. Had a little thing here. Okay, I gotta get some. It had the little thing here to hold the pencil. But that case was all messed up. Oh, actually I had it wrong. Go like this. See, and it has the little thing. This case cost me twelve twenty-five dollars. For those of y'all who live in the Bronx, y'all know y'all can find everything in the Bronx. You can find everything in the Bronx. Okay, I'm coming on in. Let me go this way. So y'all can see it better. Coming on in. I'm getting kind of empty here. All right. Okay, I got my little water bottle. I refuse to get rid of it. You know? Okay, so we got that. I got some stuff that's at the bottom. It's stuff that been in here. I just threw in here. Like this. This is a straw. Right? And... I just got this from my daughter. This is pretty good. This is San Pellegrino. Grino, Italian sparkling drink. I guess it's 1932. That's how long it's been out. It's sparkling blood orange beverage. I'm kind of like, I was kind of leery about that blood. But hey, it's with 16% orange juice. And 3% blood orange. Juice from concentrated with other natural flavors. It's 130 calories. 5 milligrams of sodium. No protein. Uh, let's see what else. It's water, sugar, orange juice, concentrated. Blood orange juice, concentrated carbon dioxide. Orange extract, citrus acid, black carrot extract for color. Oh, so I don't even know what color it is. So that is the juice. I had that. Now, I don't carry that with me. That was in there. Okay, let's see what else. I had this. Oh, we got this with Chuck E. Cheese. And it's actually a little thing to write in. Okay, this was the wallet. This is also from the same place as my keys. It just doesn't have the name on it, but that's the signal. And actually, I guess I got it upside down. And this is has a little thing in here, which I never use. Now that I see it, I don't know what it's for. I got more of my cards in here. I got Credit Karma, got my husband's husband, Vimo, insurance that should be in here, provider, and T-Mobile money. So I had so many cards in here, and they got a little pocket here where you can put money in, right? And actually, got $22 in there. I always put money and leave it so that if it come down, I'm broke and I need some, I got some. Let me put this card in here. That's my husband's benefit card. And by the way, his, I mean, not benefit card, insurance card. And he has Fidelis Care. If anybody ever heard of that? Ooh, I'm about done. I'm about done. 39 minutes. Okay, I'm about done. That's better than an hour. This is something I just stuck in here. I guess it's something to come over your head. Here's my, my charger, portable charger. I think I'm going to have to get me another one, invest in another one. Because I think these things in here, it's kind of like loose. And every time I plug my phone in and it makes that dun 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 sound. Let's see what else we got. More tissue. Uh, receipt 
which is garbage. I got a garbage right here. Let's see if y'all know what this perfume is. What person has daisies? It's like I'm hearing you. Correct. That's the name of the perfume, daisies, and by Mark Jacobs. It came with my perfume. You probably can't see it. It's next to the cup. Oh, wait, wait. Let me see if I can get my finger right. Right there. Right there is the perfume. Okay, this is a roll on. Okay. No, I have to smell it. So this came as a gift with that perfume in the box. Okay, I'm coming on in. We got a quarter, some change. Oh, wow. Coco Chanel. Coco Chanel, Madam Zwell, right? Madam Zwell, you see it's down. It's about, I love this, I love this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know. You sit that there. I keep sitting inside my closet. Okay, I got my hand sanitizer. And the good thing about it, in our train stations in New York, uh, for those who know the Bronx, I would take the two train and I get off at, I forgot what stop that is. And up in the upper level where I am, because I got to go down level, the upper level where I get off, well, I'll be down on the two line, but then I got to come up and transfer to another train. Right up in there, they used to have where you can where you can spray. And when I looked, it was the same name. And so I go and refill it. I guess that's how it's supposed to look. I go and refill it. Yep. Okay, let's see. I'm about done. I have another glass cleaner. Who is this? Oh, this is Rayburn. This is my daughter's. Cause she loves herself some Rayburns. I was thinking about getting the classic ones. I saw them on a website. And um, they kind of like squarish, like square. And they um they looked kind of nice. They were saying that the famous Back in, I'm going to go back in the days. People like maybe Martin Luther King and um, maybe JFK. People like that that wore glasses. Rayburn was the ones that they wore. And those was the classics ones. And I was like, oh, that sounds like a plan. Because I don't feel like paying a lot. Because these was like a, about $1,200. But that's including the, the lenses and the frames. And I got like two or three different lenses going on here. Okay, so I got another one. All right, oh, I forgot the candy. I bought this off the train. A young, young man, I believe. No, a young lady. A lady was selling. And I love dark chocolate. That's the best. And this is World Finest. And it was a dollar. But she said two dollars. So I only wanted one since she was still standing there. So I bought two. Okay, so I think I'm done. Got some more tissue. And I got a receipt. And I believe, or oh, I got some change in the bottom. But here we go. That's the whole bag. And that is my review. Yeah, here. Okay. Okay, so let's. Hi, Nana. Uh, oh. I'm <laughs> Javi. Okay, all righty. So we're going to put everything back inside. Uh -huh. gonna put this in here. Well, you're not, baby. Let's not think about no, pregnancy. No, 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 no. Okay, I'm doing the video. Don't talk to me. I'm in the video right now. And I, I'm, I'm getting ready to get off. Okay? All right, let's put this. We're going to put this in here. Okay, we're going to put these things in here. 
Things so I don't have to be digging in the bottom. I'll put that in here until I'm ready to put my stuff in here. Okay. All right, so now the bag is very light. Let's put the stuff back in here. Our masses. Let me put that part. Let's put these tissues back in here. I need tissues. Okay. All right. So that is my video of the hand. What is it? Emmys. Sorry, I'm pronouncing it wrong. I don't want to butch it. But butcher it. So this is the Hermes, uh 35. And glamorous leather. Let me show you my outfit. As you see, this is Heat Tech Extra Warm. Let me just tell you what I got on. This is Chanel. Goes together. This is set Chanel number five. Where's the five on here? You see the five right here. This is this was on here, and it came off, so I stuck it on my chain. This is a rose gold cross. This I got from, okay, I got this from, let's call it Pandora. And I got this chain from Pandora. It is a solid gold, 14 karat gold, 18 karat, whatever. This is also... 14 karat gold, and this has a diamond in it. You can see it in the back, the diamond. See the hole. This has a diamond. This is, and I bought that from Macy's. No, I bought this from Amazon. Try before you buy. It was about 300 and something. This chain was about five to $800. Diamond cut. This is CC, as you see, Chanel. This is Louis Vuitton. Uh, that's it, other oh, chain, right? Got this. This is, as you can see, this is Chanel as well. This is my Apple Watch. This is Apple 6, I believe. I got another one that's Apple 4. So this one goes to this phone. And I was at my daughter's friend with my daughter at their house. And my watch rang. So I had to, it says it goes as far as 300 meters or whatever. So I guess I must have was either within that 300. I couldn't be beyond it for the phone to ring. Okay, this is from Pandora as well. I have different types of things on there. This one is rose gold. You'll need an app for me to help with that. Try searching in the... Okay, thank you. This is from Pandem Pandora. And on this one, this is sentimental. I have, I lost my sister. I lost my daughter in 2013. You'll probably see the video. I'll just, you'll see it where... I'm singing at her funeral, and I put it on this. So I want to get a bigger heart. I put it on here, and one side is hers, which is 2013, and the other side is my sister. She died in 2020. This is from, this is some kind of gems, some kind of, they got a name for them. They're not black crystals, another name, but... Kind of like keep your balance or something, spiritually balanced. You know, of course, it's the Lord that keeps me spiritually balanced, but, you know. And I got this from some one of them subscriptions that sell jewelry. And this one I got from Pandora. This was about 200 This is a, a slider diamond bracelet. Okay, as you know, I said this is Heat Tech. This is H&M. 
We had to wear silver. Oh no, I don't pay my son no more. We had to wear silver and gray. Go ahead, right like, quick. Silver and gray. So this is a bodysuit. It's very warm. Underneath it, I got three. Is it three? One, two. I got two. Two heat takes sleeveless, like can beats. So I was extra warm. And I have a pair of leggings on underneath, which is also a part of this. Go together. It's a set. And I got on a skirt because, as you see, this is very thin material. So since I put the color on, I wasn't going. I had to. This is about the closest I had to gray and silver. I thought it was gray and silver, but the young lady said no, it was just silvery gray. Silver gray, something like that. Because I shown up went to her. I said, wait a minute, I got a bone to pick with you. How you going to tell me the color and you don't wear it? So she was like, I got on gray. I said, oh, I'm sorry. I, said, I thought you said silver and gray. She said silver gray. I said, oh, so you didn't say like to go together. She was like, no. I said, okay, my mistake, sorry. Because I shown up was balling her out. Okay, so that is the video. And y'all... Excuse me, I ain't got my spray. Or do I got my spray? Every time somebody sneezes up ahead, you skip the spray. I don't want to be passing nothing along. Because my house... My house is seven. We don't want nobody to get sick. So that is my video. And I hope you enjoyed it. And if you like these kind of videos, please like and subscribe. And put in the comments what you like. And I'll try my best to do it. I know there's a young lady out there that asks for a lot of... um around the city videos. I don't really do too much traveling since we're in, since the pandemic was. I didn't do too much traveling. So my vlog, you'll probably come across my vlog. Wait, what is she doing? She on the bus. She walking in the street. Those is considered my vlogs because that's about all I do. So sometimes, so most of the time when I would do a lot of video, y'all haven't seen no videos because my phones are filled up. And I can't do no videos. I only can do lives like this. So as soon as I'm cleaning up my phone, I'm doing it right now. I've been waiting for almost three days. So we're going to see what happens. Because there's so much stuff on my phone. You know you got a lot of stuff. When your iCloud is filled up. Your phone is, both of the phones is filled up. My iPad is filled up. My computers is filled up. So everything I do, I got to do online. You see what I'm saying? I can't audio tape nothing. I can't videotape nothing. So that's why y'all haven't been seeing me. But as soon, y'all know when I got my phones cleared. Because you will be seeing this skinny thing. So do enjoy your, the rest of your night. I'm going to go get undressed and, and um, eat my food. And y'all have a blessed night. Bye-bye. Like and subscribe. God bless you. Bye.